Hi, Stuart Brzezanski, Senior Product Manager with Philips. And what I want to do today was talk a little bit about some of the new control products that we have available through Philips. So what we have right now is a wireless occupancy sensor system called OcuSwitch Wireless. And OcuSwitch Wireless provides flexibility for many of the retrofit installations that you face today. The system itself is made up of two primary components. The first component being a wireless sensor, and the second component being on the demo, a wired switch. The sensor itself has the occupancy sensor, which is a passive infrared, and it also has on here a shield that flips up and is rotatable by 360 degrees. The sensor, as I mentioned, is battery operated, 3.6 volt battery, and also the timer setting is on the back of the sensor. It can, be, it can be done anywhere from one minute to 30 minutes. The timer itself is a smart timer that if you had this set as a default of 15 minutes, but when somebody is not sensed in the space, the sensor accidentally turns off. Someone waves their hand, sensor turns back on. The sensor senses that it turned off and then on very quickly, so automatically the sensor will start extending out the time in five minute increments, up to a total of 30 minutes. Once, when someone leaves the space, after that time limit, the sensor will turn off and go back to whatever you had it set at originally. So the USB port on the back here is actually used for upgrading the software on the controller, on the, on the sensor. So if for whatever reason there's a bug or there's an upgrade, we can easily plug into here and within 45 seconds, a service person has uploaded new firmware onto the sensor. So no longer is it needed to take out a sensor, send it back, get a new one installed. The second part of the system is our switch. The switch is a wired switch. It does require a neutral. The switch itself is capable of having manual on or auto on capabilities. So we are a vacancy sensor or an occupancy sensor. I can also override the system. As I'll demonstrate here, I can turn the lights on or off. And that's what the amber LED on the side over here is indicating, that we're in the override mode. The override mode stays in effect until someone leaves the space, and then it'll trigger back into the automatic mode. When that happens, the amber LED goes off. The, the operation of the system works by the sensor, which we talked about before, sending a wireless signal to the switch, and the switch, the relay inside the switch, will trigger on to, or off accordingly if someone's in the space or out of the space. To link the devices together, it's very simple, just as you would with many Bluetooth devices. At the top of the switch, there's a slot. Behind the slot is a button. Use a small screwdriver, push the button in. The amber LED actually will become a green LED and start blinking, indicating that the sensor is in its linking mode. You would then go back to the, all the switches that we had, and then also all the sensors, press the corresponding linking button, and then come back to the first switch, press it one more time, and it takes it out of linking mode, and I've now linked everything together. I can link up to 10 devices, any combination of sensors and switches together in order to have the system completed. I can create the network of 10 devices, any combination of sensors or switches to make my system complete. At that point in time, you now have a very simple to install retrofit lighting control system. In the future, we'll also have a dimming version available as well as a daylighting version available. Operational with our Mark 10 ballasts, which will enable very easy installation of applications for daylight harvesting. So we look forward to having you specify our products moving forward. Thanks.